I love them all. You can pick out outfits. And I can't wait to see doggies and kitties. The dogs are rebelling. Mommy's looking for the right time. Tavy's just like her daddy. She hates the warm weather. Well, I love the warm weather. I just hate being in it. I love the AC. Hold on, what? That's like me. I like to do stuff outdoors, but I hate it because it's so hot. Yeah, I, I love the warm weather because you don't have to wear as much, but I hate being in the heat for too long. Yeah. Snow is definitely worse, though. I hate the snow. So, as everybody knows, I do breastfeed and everything. And yeah. It just gets hard to like breastfeed in public sometimes because I get nervous about like what other people are gonna like say to me. Like, I need like that support and stuff. So I was like, I posted on this group that's called Breastfeeding and Mechanics for Support Group or whatever. Okay. And this mommy got back to me. I was like, oh, maybe we can breastfeed together at the Harrisburg East Mall sometime and it'll maybe get you comfortable more in, like, breastfeeding in public. Well, that'd be great. I hate when people, like, have those... They like to stick their little comments into everything. It just makes me nervous because I know, like, a lot of people are so judgmental and, like, like everywhere, everywhere you go, you always get that one judgmental person. So I'm mm -hmm. always scared to be like, oh, let me wet my boob out because my baby's hungry. So I always bring formula everywhere I go because I'm so scared that someone's just gonna stop me and be like, oh, well, you shouldn't be breastfeeding. Or they don't, like, it's like not a normal thing. Everyone always sexualizes boobs all the time. And it's just really annoying. Yeah, I mean, it is, like, it is a normal thing, but no one makes it out to be normal. Yeah, everyone, that's what I'm everyone, saying. like, but it's like the minority of people. They just like they're just the loudest group is because no one's gonna come up and be like, yeah, that's okay, you can do that and everything. But you're gonna but if someone has a problem with it, they're always gonna come up and be like, oh well, you shouldn't do that in public because that's disgusting and everything. Yeah, like I just want people to be like, I just want it to seem like it's like it like you said it's a normal thing, but I just want it to be like, I just want to get comfortable at doing it because I feel like. People are constantly judging me if I just whip my boob out and feed my child. Yeah. You know, like, it's kind of hard sometimes because, like, I'm, like, a very shy person. I'm outgoing and everything, but I'm very shy. But, like, if I have to, like, feed my daughter, I usually run to the bathroom real quick and feed her. Like, I don't just, like, sit down and, like, eat at the mall and, like, feed her. Yeah. You know, like, it just, like... Which is, you shouldn't me, have to run to the bathroom to feed your yeah, daughter. Yeah, it just makes me worry that other people are going to say something or someone's going to make a comment. And it's well, just, someone says something around me. I, I have a lot to say. Oh, I know. But it's just, like, I what get, if I'm, like, alone and have to go shopping or something and she, like, gets fussy and I have to get her out and, like, feed her and someone well, says something to me? you can meet up with other moms. You can, uh, when we go out places, you can do it with me because... I know for a fact that if someone comes over to, to us and says, like, hey, you shouldn't be doing that, I get really territorial. Like I'll, like, I'll always put, like, a cover, like, a receiving blanket or something small over top to, like, for my comfortability, like, mm -hmm. so people aren't seeing my boo or something. But, like, everyone else is saying, like, it is a normal thing. And, like, if I have to feed my child, I have to feed my child. Yeah. Anyway. Like sometimes I don't get the chance to just be able to sit down and pump for 40, like 20, 30 minutes because, you know, she wakes up or I got to do stuff around the house or we're going out and doing something. You know, I can't always just sit down and just like have this on my boob and like just pump. Yeah. Well, <coughs> well, we can practice that and everything, get you more comfortable with it because like eventually you're going to have to get to the point where um, if someone comes over, you can just bite their head off. That's what I'm saying, like, I just eventually want to get to the point where I can be like, shut the f*** up and leave me alone and let me feed my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm a very stern person, and I'm a very, like, I will, like, say something to you and, like, try not, try not to be a bitch. but, like, it comes to a point, like, if it's, like, the first time I'm actually doing it in, in public, mm -hmm. I know that I'll be, like, very nervous and scared to actually do it like for the first time because I haven't done it in public yet like I always been 
like I always lead to, oh, let me just whip out the formula, or let's hurry up and rush home, or let me run to the bathroom and do it, and yeah. lock the stall, like, stuff like that, but like, like when we were out in the mall earlier, she was getting fussy and hungry, and I was like, oh, let's just leave now, and I didn't just kind of be like, okay, let me feed her here, yeah. because I was too nervous and too scared of what other people were going to say and think. Yeah. I just love when we try doing things with people and like everyone is like, oh, well, I'll let you know when I'm free and then everyone's like busy. Not like a slap at anyone. I know Katie, you, my sister, is gonna think that that was about her, but no, like 400 people that we contacted to do things with Octavia were like, oh, well, yeah, we'll hang out just in a little bit. So... Uh, now the day's like almost all gone. Sucks! We got plans, we're not losers! Even though the plans are only going up to this urgent care to sign a medical card that they messed up for my CDL. So, let's go! Come on, focus, stupid camera. Focus on her cuteness. Tavy, are you excited to drive for like 10 minutes? Well, me drive? Do you want to drive? Do you want to drive? You're like a month old. You can drive. Come on. Come on. My grandma sometimes, she just stays at home and, you know, she's like lonely all the time. And it just kind of makes me upset because like, you know, I'm so busy with Tavia and busy with our life that we don't really have much time to actually go see her. And like, you know, she's always so lonely. Yeah, and she doesn't like leave the house at like all. No, that's the thing because my grandpa always works from like, well he leaves probably around like 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. and then gets home at like 12 in the middle of the night. So she's like, you know, she just stays at home all the time because she doesn't have anywhere to go. She doesn't have a way to get to places or she doesn't really, sometimes she doesn't really want to go anywhere. So all she does is just sit down and like, you know, watch TV and make herself lunch and you know, like when we go over there, sometimes like she just gets so happy, you know, when we bring Tavia and everything, she just gets so happy because she doesn't really have a lot of people. And it makes me really sad and to like, I don't know, just to kind of know that like, that's how she's like living her life, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if she feels sad about being in the house all the time, but I know that if I had to stay in the house all the time, Oh, well, like on beautiful days like this, I'm pretty sure she would love to be out of the house and like be able to like take in the sun. And like when my mom used to live with her, they used to go out and sit on the patio on beautiful days and hot days like this. But like now it's just kind of like she, she doesn't do that alone because she gets scared that she's gonna fall. Because you know she's at fall, but she's like a fall victim. Like she had it happened before where she almost fell. And you know, she's like pretty much around, I think she's almost 82. So it's just kind of like, it's just kind of scary to know that she's alone all the time. And like, on nice days like this, she can't go out alone. Unless like, we were to go over there and like take her outside and on the porch. Well, <coughs> I would, I think we should do that sometime. This is my fake super excited voice. Uh, Ouch! Yeah, Ayla was crying. Yeah, I know, she knocked on every door until she found someone.